Hi, Vampers Kiss here. Today we're in the kitchen. I thought, because I have such trouble when I'm watching videos, I thought maybe I would give you the dumbed down version of this particular video. This is those burgers that I make that are like Freddy burgers or, yeah, I guess they're just like Freddy burgers. Anyway, what you need is you need a grill. This is a cast iron grill. It's actually, I guess, a barbecue grill, but, or griddle, or I'm not sure what you want to call it. I call it a grill. And, uh, this is a wallpaper scraper. You need that to scrape the meat off of the grill. And then this is, I don't know if it's a cement trowel. It's a or, cement trowel. It is a cement trowel? Is that yeah, the because that's what they use to like flatten out the cement. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Angel says this is a cement trowel. I know I got it at the hardware store, so to flatten the burgers out. And then you need a stainless steel or some kind of metal spatula as well. Okay, so we're going to start. All right, I guess I should turn the burner on. Sorry. I, I always get performance anxiety whenever I'm doing anything. Okay. Jesus. Now, I always buy only, uh, like, I should make them myself, I suppose, but they're the buns that the store will bake because I just personally think they're better. They don't fall apart as much and they're just, I like them. Can I help? Okay. And yes, I washed my hands before I started this whole thing, so I just wanted you to know that too. So I cut these. So I've got them all cut. And then I'm going to put some butter on them and I'm going to put them on the grill so that they get toasted. So, I don't know what happened to our butter container, but apparently we just get butter on the counter now. It's over there by the fridge. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, it's over there by the fridge. I missed that. Butter, butter, butter. Okay, it's over by the fridge. It looks like there's some in it. This is, this is the part that I thought made it taste like uh, Culver's Butter Burgers. I mean, I realize that they're butter burgers. Technically, the burger part is cooked in the butter, but since I don't really want butter on my grill because as hot as it gets and it already smokes, it would really be smoking because butter has such a low, uh, I don't know if they call that smoke temperature. I'm not real good I think with terminology. I um, they call that burn temperature. I'm not sure what they call that. But butter, burn, butter burns very, It'll look very low heat. And so you, you don't, I don't want that on the griddle. And of course I didn't let this griddle warm up too much, so it will take a few for these to get done. Can I shake that? No, because I'm busy and you don't want that up here. Okay. Because I'm cooking. Okay, so um, I guess until this gets done, I guess you can pause that. Does it pause? No, no. No, it's not a pause. No, because that would stop it. Well, then I guess we'll just keep talking. <clears throat> I guess that must be like a really fancy camera that somebody, people must own when they can pause them. I don't know how to edit these things. I, I apologize for that. So, no, gosh, I just don't know what to talk about. I've already cut my condiments because you know you want your lettuce, your tomato. What are you doing, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't, don't. Uh, and of course, I love onions on my burger. I, like I mean, I live every year, even though I'm down here in New Mexico, I live every year for the Walla Wallas to come out. They're not easy to find. We can sometimes get them in natural grocers or, um, well, they used to be at Sprouts. No, actually, it's Sprouts. Is Sprouts called Sprouts now? Yeah, yeah Sprouts. Yeah. Um, for some reason, they haven't been carrying them, so... That's a real treat if we can find them, find Walla Wallas, and oh my God, you, well, you know, th you know, those of you who have Walla Wallas at hand, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, gosh, I just don't know what else to talk about. I want to talk about my life. My life, my life is a, a mess. <laughs> it's always a mess for you. Thank you. Jeez. Oh, 
one like foot so icky. Okay. What? Please. Sorry about that. So, yeah, I hate gas. I don't know how many of you people love gas. I mean, if you love gas, comment below and tell me why you love gas and, and how good it works for you because my gas don't work for me hardly at all. I don't know if it's because it's propane. It's not actually um, LP, it's propane, but I don't like it. I remember my grandmother, she swore by gas. And I'm pretty sure that she had uh, propane because her, uh, where they lived, there was only two houses on that road and they were way down by the fairgrounds of mine it. And so I doubt very much that any kind of uh, line actually went that far to give them LP. So I'm pretty sure, I don't remember a propane tank, but I bet you they had a propane tank. But yeah, she swore by it. And I remember even my mother, she tried different kinds of stoves like those glass top ones. And uh, I think what else she had. I guess it was just a glass top one and then just regular stoves and I remember she used to get all angry because it wouldn't get hot enough and she always wanted propane. Or not propane, LP would have been. But um, yeah, give me give me uh, electric any day of the week. But unfortunately, <laughs> in a, a mobile home, we can't have electric stove unless I have the electricity redone. Because um, those of you who know anything about mobile homes, they're daisy chained electricity is and um, you'd have to have a, a dedicated circuit or yeah a dedicated circuit and a plug for a stove to be able to have one and also we only have um, what is it called 100 what is that word that they use 100 watt amp amp there you go 100 amp service here so we'd have to jack it up to 200 amp and I don't know exactly what that would entail I just know that it's more money than we can afford at this point. Because now that David, even though now that David's retired and we have a little bit more money coming in, we still owe quite a bit of money on that car of his. And, you know, repair bills, which many of you have already been listening to that on. I know. But as soon as that's all done, hopefully he'll still be able to work and maybe we can burnt myself. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, do some more things. I don't know. Have to wait and see. Well, it depends on how long he can hold out. Hopefully he can, hopefully he can hold out. Show my refrigerator. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a messy refrigerator person, sorry. If it's not messy, you don't live there. It's not messy. Yeah. It's not messy, you don't live there. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, there's one oh, right there. Okay, now here's what I did. I These are little two ounce balls, each one of these. And each one of these will be a patty. So I didn't, I had bought way too much meat because you don't anticipate when the patties are only two ounces exactly how far a pound will go because I didn't. And um, so I ended up having to freeze a bunch of mine. So I, to make things easier, froze them in the already convenient little balls. <laughs> so I will take them out. I will. That's only. It's enough for two burgers. Yeah, what about? I have to open up that other package. Okay, and I'm using for seasoning, it's called 4S. I like Penzies, and a lot of people say Penzies is expensive. Well, Penzies is not expensive if you shop there only when you get the coupons and free stuff. It ends up being actually really cheap. So I, I love Penzies. I mean, I've got a ton of spices, Jamie can testify to that, and I haven't probably even spent 40, 50 bucks, no, maybe about 75 bucks. And I probably have like 50 jars of different seasonings because I got most of them. See how the, it's starting to smoke? That's, that's telling me that it's um, getting close. So there's your balls and then this is what you do with your trowel. You just want to mash those suckers right into that grill. A little bit more. 
like that. That's the way they're supposed to look. And they, they don't take very long to cook. I just do two at a time because I can barely handle two at a time. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. Uh, now, the, the video I watched said 20 seconds on each side. Now, I'm not sure if he was cooking with atomic energy or what, but I can't do 20 seconds on each side. It takes longer than that for my grill, even when my grill is really super hot. See, you, you take your um, wallpaper scraper, see? And then, then that's when I use this, and I just flip give them a little tap down and then I actually take the cheese and stick it on there so it can start to melt and then I know you're not supposed to smash burgers I'm not really smashing them I'm more or less just making sure that they're not curling up on me It doesn't take, I cook them probably a little longer than I need to, but I, I have this thing about E. coli. I don't want to get it. I don't really want to give it to anybody that I live with either. And so there you go, and you double it like that. And there's your burger, that's your Freddy burger. And then because nobody that's gonna eat these is actually here right now, I'm just gonna leave this here, because you're supposed to like, eat them right away because they say that's when they're the best but I can honestly tell you they can they can be reheated I mean we, why don't you bring a plate over we we, we live in the middle of nowhere as many of you know and um, what? No, no, so we uh, you know we're just thrilled that anything tastes good and now that we don't have to worry about uh, going all the way into town for uh, Freddy Burgers, that's even better because I'm trying really hard not to spend money on uh, fast food or even out to eat anymore. Not so much that we can't afford it, I just kind of decided I wanted to be more frugal. And it's saved us a lot of money. I mean, each month we save well over $200, maybe closer to three. Just depends on what we would have been doing that month. And we hardly ever leave home, is another thing. And so, um, we do save a lot of money. I mean, it takes some getting used to staying home all the time, but now I'm to the point, oh crud, I, I bruised the burger. Uh, now I'm to the point where I like staying home, and I don't really like going anywhere anymore. Kind of messed that one up a little bit. I have, one thing I want to say about this trowel, I actually have something coming in the, in, from uh, not Facebook, from uh, Amazon that is an actual restaurant one that you do that with because the trowel I found it'll rust and I was like really upset when I found out it rusted because I just don't think it's safe to really be using things that rust. I don't know if oiling it would help because it's not really a a material to cook and wash with it's you know used for you know outdoors for cement or or possibly maybe I don't know I don't know what else it would be used for maybe drywall work I don't know but anyway we have one coming and you're gonna just die when you hear this it's not easy finding something flat like this I had to pay $49.99 for the one that's coming from uh, Amazon. When I get it, I'll do a video on it show it to you. That thing better gleam and grow legs and wash my windows. That's all I can say. I <laughs> mean, seriously, because I cannot believe it cost that much. And I imagine eventually I'm going to have to get something that's actually better than this, too. Because I imagine this will probably rust and start getting all messed up too. But this is what the guy that did the video 
that's what he had, and so I just went by what he had. There you go. And then I have one more I have to make, but I'm going to have to get the hamburger out of the refrigerator, and I'll, I'll, I'll save you guys the misery of watching me patty out meat. But um, I just basically wanted to... Um, show a little bit more in depth on how it was done because the video I watched it was like two minutes and if you're like me you just need more time and you need to see it a little bit better it was kind of fast and I wanted to just sl slow it down and kind of just bring it down to I mean he was a chef or he was a cook or something it made a huge difference I'm just an everyday average person so till next time this is Vampire's Kiss bye y'all bye